Hey everyone, my name is Shashank Shekhar, Master Teacher of Mathematics at Vedanta. Here we are presenting solutions for JE Advanced 2018, Paper 2. In this video, the question uh, is the very first question of the paper. Let's have a look at the problem. The question is related to the topic inverse trigonometric function mainly. The idea of series of inverse trigonometric function. It says for any positive integer n, define fn as domain open interval 0 to infinity to codomain capital R all real numbers as fn x is equal to sigma j equal to 1 to n general term is in front of sigma is tan inverse of under bracket 1 upon 1 plus x into j x plus j into x plus j minus 1 for all x belongs to open interval 0 to infinity where the inverse trigonometric function tan inverse exhumes uh, principal values values in minus pi by 2 pi by 2 as it is uh, as we see standardly minus pi by 2 pi by 2 open interval then which of the following statements is are true so one or more option can be correct option a look at the option uh, sigma j equal to 1 to 5 tan square of f j 0 equal to 55 0 f j 0 oh here they have done a blunder see look at the uh, question carefully domain does not contain 0 0 is not there in domain it is open at 0 now and they are asking about f0 <laughs> in fact in option b also they ask about f0 fj0 f dash j0 maybe they would have been true if 0 would have been uh, considered in the domain if they would have uh, closed the uh, domain at 0 then might be a or b can be correct okay you can uh, find f and x then we will observe that whether a or b uh, any one of these two are correct or not if 0 would have been included in the domain at this place we will consider a and b to be the wrong option for this question not correct because f0 is not defined so how can tan square of sigma of tan square of f0 is 55 or something this is undefined a and b options are outrightly wrong not considered to be wrong i mean not correct option c uh, okay fortunately option in option c and d f0 is not there so they ask about fn x x tending to infinity f infinity and in option d also so for to check option c or d we'll have to uh, find fnx first how can you find fnx c uh, this uh, series is very common i, I would say and uh, yeah um see um fnx if i write as sigma of tan inverse not tan inverse of denominator I am writing j x plus j minus 1 numerator is 1 so I can write it as x plus j minus x plus j minus 1 so j from 1 to n so from here I am getting j from 1 to n tan inverse as you know the formula of tan inverse has tan inverse x minus y upon 1 plus xy xy positive here so it can be written as x plus j minus tan inverse x minus tan inverse y okay yeah we know it very standard very common and it becomes now it goes to the concept uh, vn method if you put j equal to 1 2 3 up to n so most of the term i mean all the terms except the two terms uh, will get cancelled pairwise plus minus finally you'll get the largest when j is n x plus n tan inverse x plus n minus the smallest when j is 1 here tan inverse x so finally uh, fn x is this further however we can simplify it tan inverse a minus tan inverse tan a minus b and b are positive so it becomes x plus n minus x that is n upon uh, 1 plus x plus n into x x into x plus n right so uh, 
now if we uh, go, go back to the option it is required to find for any fixed positive n is fixed n is finite x is going towards infinity limit of tan of fn x extending to infinity option d also they are asking about limit of fn x uh, it is required to find f limit of fn x extending to infinity so we got x in infinity now. so we got fn x as this when you put x as infinity here denominator becomes infinity so finally it is zero tan was zero that is zero obviously from here we can see that limit of fn x extending to infinity is nothing but okay what was fn x if we can recall it it was x upon uh, sorry n upon and n is finite remember x into x plus n so any finite and x into infinity geometry becomes zero or don't become infinity so it is tan was zero that is zero okay so if we again go back to the option c it is required to find tan of fn x x into infinity and option d sec square of fn x so tan of limit extending to infinity tan of fn x that is tan zero it is zero and limit extending to infinity sec square of fn x it's sec square of zero that is one so obviously uh, option c answer to the option left hand side of option c must be zero and left hand side of option d must be one let's see what are there so it's not given zero n is finite Sup suppose n is four five so it is not going to be zero and it is correct it is a uh, given one so option d is correct option d is the only correct option here because a and b was already rejected if you uh, go uh, if you think a little bit in a very uh, i mean uh, I can say basic manner like in the problem n is taken to be finite so if you directly uh, just the answer just by seeing as a and b are already rejected and x tending to infinity when you put put x as infinity over here directly so you'll get it as zero and there are finite number of terms so zero zero finite number of terms would be zero so directly you can say by verbally i mean you can uh, see that it is zero and it is six squared zero that is one so option d is correct there's no need to find even the value of this entire series if you go by common sense nothing is better than common sense isn't it so we can find this uh, question answer to this question directly as d verbally and uh, if uh, uh, option a and b were better option if zero would have been considered as a point in domain so tan uh, square suppose let us suppose zero is there so f f zero f j zero would be what f j zero when x is zero it is tan inverse of um n tan inverse of n so tan of tan inverse of n is n and tan square of tan inverse of n is n is square so sigma n is square sigma n is square is or n is from um, I mean sigma j square I mean from 1 to 5 so sigma um, from 1 to 5 it is 1 plus 2 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square you will find that it will come as um, right 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square so 25 then 16 is 41 plus 9 is 50 plus 54 55 so it would have been correct if 0 was there in the way so there is no harm of taking 0 as domain everything was defined but they have done a blunder mistake here so I hope you understood it and similarly you can uh, observe whether option B would be would have been correct or not if zero would have been there in domain. So right, I hope you understood the every aspect of the question clearly. So uh, D is the only correct option here, as you can see. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next question.